Hi, beautiful people. Okay, so I am going to make a tuna melt right now because I'm craving it. So I was like, what should I eat right now? Like, I haven't eaten anything since like 12 and it's almost 6 right now. Um, and so I was like, I should make something. Like, I should, I should, I should have something to eat. So, um, I brought, I bought ingredients, uh, as you saw, like, in the last episode. I mean, the last video. Um, I bought food for tuna melt, chipotle bowl, and also for a chicken avocado salad, which is, uh, it's gonna be so good. But anyways, I'm craving a tuna melt right now. So, I was looking for sourdough so that I could ha make it with sourdough because I saw, like, an, a, a recipe that had it, like, on sourdough. But I'm just gonna go with a typical white bread, which is fine. Like, it's still gonna be good. But I'm gonna make it right now, and I'm praying hopefully it tastes good. I've made tuna melt. I've made the tuna um, mixture once in my life, I think. And it was so good. It was so good. It was so good. So good. So, I'm gonna try and hopefully make a really good tuna melt. Like, I know how to, like, manipulate it a little bit but hopefully i remember all the little tricks and things i'm trying to put you guys somewhere where you guys can see what i'm doing all right okay this is my computer right here so i'm gonna be using a tuna melt recipe by delish.com i have no idea who made it but apparently it's gonna take me 15 minutes to prepare the tuna melt stuff and then it makes four tuna melts so she uses sourdough I'm saying she because the fingers look like it's from a girl in the video. Um, but anyway, she also uses cheddar cheese and I don't really like just cheddar so I, I got Colby Jack slices. I have to find it first. Okay, so I got the tuna milk cans and I got my red onion. I'm currently looking for the cheese, but I don't find it. Oh, I found it. I got Colby Jack. Um, and I got my two lemons. I only need one. I didn't I I don't know why I put I thought I needed two But I just needed one lot one lemon. Um, my pickles grapes aren't in the recipe Like that she used but I like putting grapes inside of mine. So anyways, uh, I got banana peppers But I don't remember if this one had needs banana peppers. I got my pickles Celery got celery some crushed pepper flakes parsley That's just brilliant I got cilantro instead of parsley. And why did I think that was parsley? Like I, I looked at it, I knew what it was, but in my mind that was parsley. Why 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 did I think that was parsley? Parsley substitute substitute substitute. Cilantro, celery leaves, and carrot are excellent. Awesome. Okay, so cilantro is like the best and celery leaves which i have celery but i'll use i'll use cilantro instead of parsley and oh she does have it does have grapes but it's like grapes or tomato halves and i bought both i bought grapes and tomatoes but i'll just use the grapes instead of the tomatoes because you know and i also asked for avocado and i don't think i'm gonna use avocado in it i'm gonna make sure i have everything but i'm pretty sure i got most of the stuff out on the table <laughs> I was looking over the the grilled chicken, the, sal the avocado chicken salad. That's why I had avocado in it. No, I'm not, uh, whatever. These are the first things I need. I need to put them in a bowl. I cut up everything. I'm going to start putting everything inside the bowl now and mixing it and tasting it and then it's gonna be ready because literally all I have to do now is add everything to a bowl and that's pretty much it. Oh, I forgot to cut the onion. One third cup of mayonnaise. Juice of half a lemon. It's a very juicy lemon. Add pepper flakes. Scared to add more because I don't know if it's spicy or not. With. I drained the tuna. Now I'm adding it. It smells so good.
very lemony. I think I put way more lemon than I needed to, but oh, my grapes now. I thought I could just eat this, but I made this to make a tuna melt, not just to eat it with crackers. Gotta assemble my sandwich now, put it in the oven, and let it melt and toast and you know, you know? Mm, I'm so excited. I'm drooling. My mouth is like producing so much saliva just thinking of like making a tuna melt. Ooh. So I buttered the breads. I think I'm gonna add more mayo. I forgot to add the um, the tomatoes. It's not completely melted, but it's toasted. I'm watching Shadow and Bone, and if you are over the age of, what reading is this? Okay, so if you're over 14, you should watch Shadow and Bone. I mean Shadow and Bone. If if and only if you like um like magic stuff. And this one I've never seen or heard of, like it's not like, I mean it's based on like some books and stuff and it's really interesting. I'm halfway done. I'm pretty sure I'm on the last episode and I watched it all today and yesterday. So I'm sad about it because um, now I have to wait because they just released the first season last year, like probably like a few months ago. And um, they're gonna, they, 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 they did confirm that they're going to make a second season, so I'm like excited for it. But <sighs> anyways, that's it. I think I'm gonna add may more mayo in it, but um, I right now I'm scared that it's like gonna be burning hot because <laughs> it just got out of the oven. <laughs> it's so good. I'm in like food heaven or something. Oh my god. I love tuna. I used to be so obsessed with tuna. Like, if I go to Subway, I would always get a tuna melt, like sub, you know? So good. Well, hope you enjoyed this other segment of amateur cooking diaries in college and whatever. Amateur cooking diaries? I think my amateur cooking diaries because most of them are in college while I'm, while I'm here. But I cook over there sometimes, just not as often. I don't record it. I'm gonna eat this now. Hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. <laughs>